Hello, today I will show you how to add uh, custom sounds, custom voice lines and custom music to Half-Life 1. So the program you will need for this is Audacity. And now if we're gonna start with record, recorded voice lines, first we have to go to Edit, then to Preferences, first to Devices, and in the Channels, uh, by default it should be set to stereo but you have to change it to mono because that's how it works in Half-Life. Stereo uh, sounds won't work, only mono. Then in a recording if you have a, a weak microphone I suggest you should set this to zero or maybe around here. I mean by putting it to zero it actually makes it louder because this is around like minus 30. I think this is by default. So zero should be good if you have a weak or, or I mean if you have a weak microphone. Then the last thing to do here is go into quality, and in here this should be set as forty-eight thousand or forty-four thousand, one of these numbers, but you should change it to eleven thousand hertz, the default sample rate. Nothing else to change here. So only devices, channels, mono, then optional is to set this to zero if you have a weak microphone, and in quality, default sample rate set to 11,000. Then you press OK. Then here, you should check also if your project rate right down here is also set to 11,000. If it's not, then you should just click on the drop down, I guess, and uh, uh, click 11,000. Then you press the record button, record your own voice, stop, and again, if you have a weak mic, I suggest uh, setting the gain around like 12 or 13 decibels. If I play it now also, uh, the, sh uh, the final result of your recorded voice should be uh, saying mono and the 11,000 right here. Now I will play the record button, record your own voice. Yeah, it, it sounds a bit worse, but that's how they sound in Half-Life, the voice lines. So that doesn't matter. And it should be the record also button, record your own voice, uh, jumping around the 12. And that should be correct. If it's jumping around 12, then you can probably hear it nicely in Half-Life. Anyway, that's all for recording. Then you go to export. Export as Windows Audio Viewer. And go to your Half-Life folder. The folder is located like on whatever disk you have, then where your Steam is located, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life and Valve and in the sound. Here you have all the sounds that are in Half-Life except uh, music I think. So let's for example click Scientist and then the voice line uh, Are you think? right here and then just save it. But actually don't do that. First uh, this would be set, I think, on 64-bit uh, float or 32-bit float. You have to set it to uh, unsigned 8-bit uh, PCM. Set it to that, then you can save. This will ask if the, I mean, if the file already exists, and if you should replace it. You should press yes. This just happens. You don't have to change anything here. OK then go into the scientist voice lines, right here I already have them are you think? the record button, record, record your own my voice. voice right here and then uh, the final like if you want to check if you've done it correctly then uh, this bit frequency I think I do not know what it says in English but should be 88 kilobytes per second this if it's 88, then you've done it correctly and it will work in Half-Life. 
Anyway, about these uh, voice lines, these voice lines without like the C1 are when uh, they happen when you click on the scientist, when you make them follow you, or something like that. Then you have scream, they are obviously when you're go going to hurt them or something. Then startle and uh, whatever. And this is fear again. And this C1. Uh, voice lines, they happen around scripted events around every map. So for example, I think the start of these C1 voice lines, I think this is the resonance cascade and like the radio, how they speak through the intercom to Gordon in the in like the experiment lab, I guess. Just that's that, okay. Anyway, now for custom uh, custom sounds, not voice lines you recorded on, but custom sounds. Let's take this song right here. This is Point vs Zombies. Yes. And now here, you can see that it's set as stereo and 48,000. So you cannot export it that way, it won't work in the game. What you have to do is uh, change the project rate right here to 11,000. And in here, right click, split stereo to mono, and then delete one of them. And it, sh it should be saying mono 48,000, and the project rate should be 11,000. If you have it like that, mono and project rate 11,000, then it should work. You can already hear it, it sounds like worse, but that doesn't matter. I also suggest uh, putting it a bit louder, around uh, 2 decibels to 4 decibels. And or maybe even louder. I'm not sure, but I think four or five displays is enough. Then you go to file, export again, export as uh, Windows Audio Viewer. Let's uh, change the sound. Let's go to turret uh, to pink. Save. Uh, check if you have it encoding as unsigned 8-bit PCM. Save. Yes, okay, a loading bar might appear, if it's a bit longer. Hold on. Sound, turret, turret pink, see it's 88 kilobytes per second, and it's the song, so it was done correctly. And that's how you add custom sounds. For like... Uh, monsters or even NPCs or ambience or something. Now if you want to uh, uh, add custom music, let's use the same one. If you want to add custom music, you don't have to change anything. Actually, uh, Just go to sound, wait sorry, not sound, go to Wolf, media, and here we have all the songs. Like you can hear, this is probably the Gonark song, I think. And let's change it as half life 5. You see, also, they don't have like a bit frequency at 88 kilobytes per second. They can have whatever, I think. I think uh, you can also just rename them, like put your song here and rename it to maybe half life 05, and it should work that way. But that's your, but I haven't tried that, so I don't know. Export it, export as mp3, uh, go to Wolf, Media, and click on Half Life 05 or whatever song you want. And do not change anything here. I didn't change and it still worked. That's your choice, I don't know. And save. Yes. Okay. Loading bar appears. And that's it. The song should be now here. Yeah, and it should work in the game. Now, that's about it for uh, the voice lines. I will put a link in the description to the mod DB guide. I There were vi videos on it, I think, but they're all blocked now, so yeah. But I will leave it anyway, because that's where, I'm, where I learned this from. 
uh, I mean I figured this out and that's and that's that anyway I hope this helped you